Welcome to another AnyNode video. In this episode, we invite you to sit back and watch as we will introduce selected new exciting features and enhancements in AnyNode version 4.8. AnyNode is certified for Zoom Phone Premise Peering, BYOC Bring Your Own Carrier. With Zoom Phone, AnyNode can be connected to almost any provider or third-party PDXs. With Zoom Phone Premise Peering, BYOC, existing providers can be used by moving existing voice lines to the Zoom Phone Cloud. This allows all the benefits and features of Zoom Phone to be used while retaining existing service provider contracts, phone numbers, and call rates. The AnyNode wizard makes setting up a variety of different configurations for various scenarios a breeze, clearly laid out and with just a few simple steps. You can find a detailed tutorial video on the topic of Connect Zoom Phone Premise Peering on our YouTube channel. The existing connection option to Microsoft Teams direct routing in the AnyNode frontend has been extended by an additional predefined system profile for Microsoft Operator Connect. Most of the configuration work is done by the AnyNode wizard in just a few minutes. Ports, SBC FQDN, and target systems for the load balancing connection are automatically determined and entered by the wizard. Thanks to a step-by-step -step configuration, no setting is overlooked. In addition to Microsoft Teams Direct Routing, AnyNode is now also certified for Microsoft Azure Communication Services Direct Routing. We have also included our own node wizard in version 4.8. This makes it very easy to connect communication solutions developed with ACS to existing SIP-based telephone systems or directly to your own provider. AnyNode offers flexible processing of incoming and outgoing source and destination numbers with dial string rewriting. By rewriting different dial number formats, AnyNode makes different IP devices compatible. All rewriting rules can now be exported in machine-readable JSON format and imported and reused in another node. Save the time of manually entering the same dial string rewritings every time or making a backup copy of your rewrite rules. A simple text editor is all you need to edit the easy-to-understand JSON format afterward. The JSON format supports all dial string rewritings possible in any node. The rewrite rules import assistant displays all rewrite rules before the final import and can overwrite the already entered rules or add the newly imported rules to the already existing rules. Also, you are able to import CSV files. A detailed tutorial video on the topic of basic style string rewriting and routing can be found on our YouTube channel. In early 2023, Microsoft will no longer have its own certificates, which it will present to any node when establishing a TLS connection that is signed by the Baltimore CyberTrust Route CA. Instead, the certificates will be signed by the DGCERT Global Route CA. For a working connection, both now and after the switch, both Root CA certificates must be entered in the Trusted Certificates list in AnyNode. AnyNode 4.8 does this for you by using the Migration Wizard. The new Root Certificate from DGCERT is automatically migrated to the Trusted Peer Certificates list. So with AnyNode 4.8, you don't need to do anything else. For users of older AnyNode versions, we strongly recommend that you manually add the new road certificate to the trusted peer certificates to prevent TLS connectivity issues.
AnyNote offers you an easy-to-use central search function that quickly and efficiently finds the desired settings and functions in your entire configuration. If you no longer know exactly in which object you can change the remote SIP domain of your provider, for example, the search function will help you. Select the desired node and search for remote SIP domain. You will then see the search results. Click on the arrows and jump directly to the desired location in the front end. The place where the remote SIP domain can be changed is highlighted for a few seconds. Use the return button to get back to the starting position. Another application example is the search for port 5060 to find out which node uses this port. An additional limitation of the ranges in which the search function is to work allows for even more precise search results. Under Events in Monitor Mode, you can view all events related to your AnyNode. For example, restarts of AnyNode services or network failures are logged here. AnyNode now offers the possibility to write condition-based events to the event log in the monitor settings with self-created conditional events. For example, create a conditional event for when the number of sessions on a particular node exceeds 10. Determine for yourself whether the event is considered a warning, informational, or error message. The events are written to the AnyNode event log and, if desired, sent to the notification instances, SNMP, REST, WMI, via the event transport. Self-created conditional events can now also be selected for event transport. When the status of the condition changes, an event entry and, if necessary, an event transport can be triggered via email or a push message. For example, you can have a message sent to a Microsoft Teams channel via Microsoft Teams incoming webhook when a particular node has more than 10 sessions. This allows for a quick response such as an additional license purchase of sessions if the node becomes busier than expected. We have a video about Microsoft Teams incoming webhook on our YouTube channel. In the monitor settings, entire lists of events can now be included or excluded. A message filter facilitates the search for specific events. Selected events are then written to the event log. Lists of events that can be included or excluded are also available for the event transport. For example, you can now set a specific node that triggers an error message in the event of a failure. You can specify one or more parameters for this. The event transport can be triggered if one or all conditions for it are met. This allows you to focus attention on a node that is particularly important to you and significantly reduce the number of event messages since failures of other nodes are then no longer taken into account. In addition to simple file recording, any node supports call branching to many recording solutions. Multiple recorders can now be addressed simultaneously. Calls can be recorded simultaneously from any node to multiple external recording solutions. With its multiplexer function, the AnyNode Media Recording Assistant offers a simple and clear way to configure multiple external recording solutions. For example, a law firm can configure voice recording to two different external recording solutions to increase recording reliability. In the area of media recording, the option to mute the recording of sensitive data, e.g. credit card data, via the REST interface has now been created. This means that even less experienced users can use the function in any node via external applications. Direct access or special any node knowledge is not necessary.
An option to set up fallbacks for LDAP user authentication has been integrated into the LDAP Authority Wizard. Use this to increase the failover security for access to your AnyNode frontend. Multiple hostnames can be configured to be processed from top to bottom if the primary hostname fails. The integration of any node into existing backends via the REST API interface enables a whole range of configuration and readout options without accessing the graphical interface. Using the REST API and PowerShell scripts, any node configurations can be created, controlled, and edited in detail automatically and remotely. Since our first release with a small set of commands, we have added more flexibility to our REST API and PowerShell library. In AnyNode 4.8, Microsoft Teams survivable branch appliance users in particular will enjoy new commands and query capabilities. Many new dial string rewriting and routing domain features are now available. Here we show the retrieval of the SBA configuration via PowerShell. With any node, special emphasis has always been placed on user friendliness. At many places in the any node front end, there are small question marks. If you move the mouse over these areas, additional help texts with explanations of the respective function appear. These help texts have been expanded by around 40% in version 4.8 and now offer even more assistance with settings and functions. If desired, any node remembers whether a tab should be expanded or collapsed and the level of detail set. This allows you to customize your frontend on particularly frequently used tabs for quick access and close and use tabs to save space. We would like to point out that if you have a large number of tabs open, the waiting time when opening the frontend increases considerably depending on the system. The Trace Analyzer now has a search function to search messages, properties, and buffers of a stream for any text. This allows you to jump to the entries you want even faster. Right-click on the stream you want to search and select Find. The search words found will then be highlighted. With Find Next, you can jump to the next search result found, whereas Backward Direction allows you to jump in the opposite direction. On Windows, it is now possible to use the user-specific scaling in the operating system and resize text and other elements in the Trace Analyzer to 125% without distortion. In the case of a REST root supervision, the individually exchanged HTTP messages can now be clicked and viewed in the signaling view between the other SIP messages. In a directory root supervision, no HTTP messages are exchanged. In the Trace Analyzer properties, the option has been added to switch to the Streams view after loading a trace and to set the filter's error, contain error and stream is open. You can thus preset the Trace Analyzer for particularly frequently used views. In any node root supervision, the option was created to dynamically select the destination node and the routing forward profile to be used. Thus, the routing destination can be determined externally. This works both when using a supervision server and with root supervision directories, SQL, LDAP and Azure AD. The root supervision assistant has been enhanced with the ability to perform object rewriting when routing. For example, you can obtain the node and routing forward profile from a field in an SQL database. All nodes have a unique ID that can be stored in the database and used for root decisions. With the AnyNode Scenario Wizard, particularly frequently occurring configuration tasks can be completed quickly and easily. The integrated node interconnection assistant with numerous ready-made system profiles and SIP providers ensures complete configuration in just a few steps. The most important standards on the market are supported. This makes any node compatible with many manufacturers. 
For version 4.8, new providers and telephone systems have been added after intensive testing in our TE Systems Laboratory and in external tests. For further details, please refer to our release notes in the community. If you would like to try out one of the new features, simply use our free demo version or let us activate a time-limited, fully functional test version for you. Our sales department will be happy to help you.